promising young woman here among nature and the birds that she loved. And even all these years later, detectives want to hear from anyone who may know something about this or any other unsolved murder. You can call the Dayton Police Cold Case Unit at 937-333-7109, and you can remain anonymous. You know, Cheryl and I have talked a lot about this story. I, I initially did this story probably about 10 years, 10 years ago. ago. Uh -huh. We did, um, did not know about the DNA on that blast. Right. Um, you know, advancements with DNA that are helping solve cases. Hopefully this. The cold case detectives tell me that it's amazing how quickly these advancements are being made in DNA testing that even in five years, three years, two years ago, they've come so far. And, you know, we do these Miami Valley murder mysteries and you wonder, do these ever get solved? Yes, they do. And yes, there's a lot of hope that some of these uh, murder mysteries that we have featured in recent years are going to be solved and soon because of these advanced DNA techniques that are uh, that they're now getting the results in. So I think we're going to see some activity on some of these cases very soon. And even somebody watching, if somebody knows just a, just a tiny bit of evidence or information, that can change the dynamic of, of yeah. a Yeah, even if you don't assault. think it's important. Yes. Um, DNA and, and witnesses. They always still need witnesses, no matter how good the science gets. Mm -hmm. They still need witnesses to come forward. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Austin Cheney here. Austin, um, you talk about a swing in this forecast. Oh, yeah. You know, as far as, you know, measurable <laughs> snow to maybe... To maybe this much. Yeah, so yeah, maybe, maybe not at all. Right? <laughs> I mean, it is uh, mind-boggling how the forecast has gone today. When I woke up this morning and checked the forecast models, some of them still had up to eight inches possible in the Dayton area. And since then, all the data today has overwhelmingly trended south. So that is the big thing that changed in our forecast today. Something, though, that stayed the same. All along, we thought there would be a sharp cutoff between some places getting heavy snow and some getting none at all. Well, that sharp cutoff has also been pushed way down to the south. So instead of just decreasing our totals, our snow chances as we go into Monday night have just dwindled altogether. Now, that system still is a long way off. So right now, all we're seeing over downtown Dayton, of course, increasing clouds, but we're dry. We have temperatures out there in the 20s and 30s. The big storm system that we're watching is this guy, this area of low pressure starting to work on through parts of the Mid-South. It's producing snow across Texas and Oklahoma, even some severe weather down there across parts of Louisiana and Mississippi. We're never worried about the severe weather part. We did think that this snow band could clip us. Well, now it looks like it's just going to pass on down to our south. Let me show you the latest on Futurecast. The rest of tonight is just about the uh, increase in cloud cover, partly cloudy skies when you wake up tomorrow morning. Certainly cold, temperatures close to freezing, so you'll need to grab the jacket. Much of your daytime tomorrow should be fine, but you'll see the clouds increasing as you go throughout the day, highs tomorrow in the 40s. Now we go to Monday night, after sunset, we could see some rain showers down to our south, but you notice that field of precipitation just struggles to get into the Miami Valley. And at this point, I don't think we're going to see any snow really get past that I-71 quarter. So... Maybe some flurries in Greene County and parts of Warren County. Best snow chances, though, are down into Clinton County and then southern Ohio down into Kentucky. We just miss out on this event, and then we dry it out as we look at it Tuesday. So snowfall totals, nothing significant across the area. Less than an inch possible when you get down south of I-71. Planning out the rest of your week, well, it's not a bad week temperature-wise. We'll top out at 41 degrees on your Tuesday 45 on Wednesday, 50 on Thursday, but it does come with a chance for rain. Snow fans will try it again Friday night into Saturday. A little rain snow makes possible dry for next Sunday. All right, sir. New at 11. Staffing problems forced the Champaign County Animal Welfare League to close its clinic. 